little bit of who I am, um, what got me started on this journey of uh, of YouTube and and and, and watch collecting. Um, and I, I wouldn't say much uh, watch collecting, but got me onto this this path of uh, passion for watches and and uh, and hopefully it can turn into um, watch collecting, right? Um, but yeah, um, you know, basically as, as just like most of you guys who 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 would watch this video. Um, you know, as a consumer of watches, um, you know, I've always, I've always watched video after video after video to try to find myself in terms of the kind of watch um, that, the kind of watches that, that I feel fits my personality. And um, I don't discriminate, you know, there are some folks out there who just hate um, watches that are not, um, you know, that just don't have skin in the game, right? Like companies like that all they all they like are companies like Tiso or or Hamilton or or uh, Rolexes APs uh, uh, Paddock I mean companies like that right and I'm the complete opposite <clears throat> for me if, uh, if 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 you like a watch right and that watch um, fits your personality and it's just kind of an expression of of of, of the kind of uh, you know watch collector that you are a watch enthusiast whatever you want to call it then go for it man <clears throat> don't let no one um don't let no one shit on that um and sorry for putting it so blunt but it's just true um you know there's 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 quite a few people out there in the watch community that um would shame you for for purchasing an invicta or for purchasing um one of these chinese brands now if there is something I do agree with them on is, you know, if you're going to spend one hundred and thirty dollars on one of these, um, you know, one of these companies that, that have no skin in the game, you, 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 there's just no warranty there. Their their uh, their QC is not up to par with companies like Seiko or Orient. If you're going to spend one hundred thirty bucks on that, take your hundred thirty dollars, put it into a into into a brand like Seiko or Orient that you know you're going to get quality and you know that timepiece is going to just going to hold up to the test of time. Um, but again, it's your money. You do with your money as you please, right? You, I don't I don't feel that that should be influenced by um, by what a watch reviewer says, right? So my goal is to is to is is not to really is not to 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 change your mindset on those watches, right? It's to give you the facts. And hopefully with those facts, it'll help you make a more educated uh, decision on, on your purchase. And that's kind of what my end game is with this with this, uh, with this this watch review channel, right? Um, you know, when I say watch life, I mean it. You know, you live that life. You, you, you just like the art that goes behind um, the, the process of, of manufacturing a timepiece. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of me, um, you know. That, that I, I, I'm assuming that most watch enthusiasts are the same in that aspect. Um, do I? Would I rather collect the Seiko over a um, over an Invicta? Yes. Do I own Invictas? Yes. There's one right there. Pro Divers. The only Invictas that I can honestly say that I genuinely like what they do. Um, is it original? Not at all. Um, it's obvious that it's a blatant um, that it's a blatant um, homage of uh, or ha it, it pays homage to, to something like the uh, pro divers, right? So on that note, um, so getting back on track with with why I decided to to, to get on YouTube and do this, um, obviously you know just over the past few years I've been trying to figure out what it is that 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 I'm passionate about, what it is that I want to do. And just because you're passionate about something doesn't always mean that that you um, should drop everything and do just that one thing you're passionate about, right? Because, you know, Mark Cuban said it once in an interview. He said that what you're passionate about is not always what you're going to be successful in, right? So it's good to have um, hobbies. It's good to be passionate about things. But... You, you also have to be realistic, right? Sometimes, like my, my, even though I'm passionate about watches, I'm passionate about music, I am really, really good at sales. And that's what I've been in, that's what I've been very successful at for the past, uh, I'll say, what, nine years now. 
and and I've been in wireless doing uh, sales for for about nine years now. And to me, um, you know, I just basically looked at it this way. I was like, okay, I'm passionate about music, but music, you know, it's, it's just one of those industries that for me at least, even though I love the uh, creative part of music and, and, and creating the content, um, I really hated the process uh, of putting it all together i'm you know the engineering the the mastering the the production part all that stuff that, that that's just right over my head you know I, I just hate that process and because i never had anyone or i didn't have anyone in that process to to, to put those that content together it's kind of a reason why i kind of you know threw that in the back seat and and just kind of kept it there in the bags of things that i that i'm good at but um, it's not something that I wanted to do, right? So I kind of dabbled a little bit in a lot of stuff. And, and, and as time went on, I started to realize, okay, I'm really good at sales. Um, uh, you know, I love watches. And, and why not kind of combine the two, right? Why not say, okay, my ability to talk to people and, and uncover what it is that people, people need or, 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 or is looking for, and then making recommendations based off of that information I've gathered from them. I say, why not put that into into uh, into some YouTube videos? Why not do that? And that's kind of what what I'm what I'm set out to do here now. Um, you know, um, my journey on YouTube. You know, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be for the long run. You know, I'm hoping to put out at least um, one or two content, one or two pieces of content every week. Um, and as time goes on, you know, I'll, I'll be able to graduate that that uh, production. But, um, you know, another thing about this that that I've noticed that even though I love the creative part of it, um, the production part of it is where where I have no experience whatsoever. I'm just kind of learning as I go, watch a couple of videos on, on things here and there. I watch a couple of reviewers, not to... And when I say I watch a couple of reviewers, not to steal any of their techniques or, or, or their identity, but more so to be able to find myself, right? To be able to say, okay, um, in terms of the production part, what is it that I'm missing that they're doing very well, right? Because you can learn from them. Just because, you know, someone has a watch review channel, it doesn't mean that I'm set out to do the same thing that they're doing, even though I am reviewing watches. It's just my way of doing it is a little bit different, right? That's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to uh, do it differently from how it's being done, right? Because someone, because someone is successful in something doesn't mean I'm going to be successful doing it that way. Um, uh, and there's, that's kind of the same thing in the industry of sales. Because you, your, your technique of sales works flawlessly for you it doesn't mean it's going to work for someone else that same way you know they have to find what they're great at and then kind of bring that out of themselves and that's kind of what what i'm hoping to do with my youtube channel and i know this is a bit of a rant uh it's gonna be a pretty long introduction video of me just driving and talking about who i am and and uh and why i decided to get into youtube right so uh so yeah um you know Again, you know, the uh, production part of all this, I'm not the greatest, I, you know, I, I'm learning as I go and, and, and you'll see it, you know, you'll see the, the gradual um, improvements in my videos um, as I upload more and more content, you'll start noticing, okay, wow, um, you know, when he started off he, very all over the place, uh, his structure wasn't, um, wasn't well put together, wasn't well thought of. And, you know, that's kind of what I want to see. I want to be able to see that growth in the, and that's kind of the good thing about YouTube, right? It's, it's documenting, document, I'm tongue twisted there. Documenting, documenting, <laughs> Jesus. As Jory Goodman said once, I felt like I had a stroke there. Uh, yeah, documenting what the progress, where, where I started, where I'm at, um, and, 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 you know, um, how good my content or I have gotten at delivering this content over the course of time. And that's one of the things that I genuinely really like about um, about YouTube is you have that opportunity to to be able to see the progress, right? A lot of things that you do in life, sometimes you, you it's hard to gauge your progress or your um, or, you know, how well you're doing at something. Right. I've been in sales for eight years and, yeah, I've had success in terms of um, numbers and um, also, you know, I, I made pretty good money doing it, but 
where I'm at in life right now, if you were to gauge it that way, you know, you really, the progress has just been very minute. Um, and, and that's because, you know, I try to, I try to instill this on, in everyone, right? To understand so that they, so that they're they're prepared for this and this, this doesn't destroy them around. Sales is a thankless industry, right? And the reason is that way is because you're getting monetized or you're, you're getting paid for for your efforts of sales. And and you know, with that said, if someone's paying you, what's what's the reason for them thanking you for the job that you're doing, right? If if, if I'm already paying you for that, right? You're 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 delivering results. And the end, and the end of that, the other end of that coin is, um, or the other side of that coin is, is that I'm paying you. So therefore, I try to prepare people mentally when I, when, whenever I'm mentoring someone into the into the sales industry, is letting them know, listen, sales is a very thankless industry, meaning you don't get thank yous. You know, on occasion, you get these awards, um, and that that gets old very quickly, right? Um, sometimes an out of boy is. It, only get you some only get you only get you so far um some people are driven by results and if they don't see results in a time in a certain time frame that they are they've set into expectations then they kind of call it quits right and and it's unfortunate because i've seen so many talented people um do that same thing i've seen so many talented people uh do very well and and have so much potential but because they are, they don't, you know, they, they, they're not willing to see it through, right? They're not willing to see through, um, all the bullshit to get to the end goal. And listen, I've, I've been, I've been with, uh, with the company that I am with now for, for, uh, almost, almost eight years, you know, and, 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 and in those eight years, I've seen so much, I, I've, I've become, um, I've gone from being a manager up to district manager to running um, to going back down to managers and, and running multiple stores and and just the you know it took time to get to that right some people when they don't see okay I've been doing so good for for, for a year or two and I haven't gotten a promotion I'm done with this you know you can't see it that way um, a lot of times you know the folks that have gotten to the spots that you want to get to they've put skin in the game man like they they have time behind it they've proven themselves and and so many times i hear it from folks where they're like um um you know they they or i see it a lot where folks are are, are showing extreme efforts and oh my god they're killing it and then once they get the position that they want they just foot off the pedal no it doesn't work that way you know when you get to the position that you want to be in you you go even harder and that's kind of where, where where what i want to do right um with this youtube thing so once i've you know i've gained traction on this and and you know things are going uh, a lot better and i and i, I want to i don't want to slow it down i want to i want to take it to the next level you know there shouldn't be a plateau there shouldn't be when i make it to the top there is no top you keep pushing and you keep pushing and you keep pushing and you keep pushing and, and that's what make people successful, right? The people who never stop. I mean, they're constantly thinking of creative ways to get better. And if you feel you can't get better, then then unfortunately, um, you know, I think that's the end of life. Like, um, you know, if you can't better yourself, then what's the point? You know, life never stops, and and bettering yourself should never stop. Um, you know, to 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 the end. You know what I mean? Like, you, you just again keep pushing and keep pushing and that's what um my plan is Sorry, i went this. on a rant there um anyways again um i hope that you guys enjoy the content that i um that i that i'll be putting out and, and so far what what i've what i've gotten out there um you know you'll see more from you'll see more from me um you'll see you'll see a unique um a unique character of of um within these reviews that that hopefully um is different from what you're used to and and allows you to 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 be able to enjoy it and, and maybe find yourself as a collector or hell maybe even find yourself as as a human right like sometimes it can take um you know something different to to be able to help someone find themselves and for me you know it, it it's it, it's it's just kind of uh expressing who i am um you know, I've always been into into the uh, creative part of, of things, um, you know, rather it's photography or rather it's music. Um, I just love it. Um, and that that's something that 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 I feel very passionate about. But but also I I feel like I can mix that with 
with what I'm really good at and and and, and have a really good outcome. So um, hopefully everyone enjoys the content. Don't forget to subscribe, um, like on the video, and um, hopefully you know once we hit 100 subscribers, um, um, then I'll be able to throw out a uh, a giveaway. Um, you know, so let's see what happens.